Hello, pre-calculus students. In our last video, we learned about limasons. And a limason is a graph of the form r equals a plus b sine or cosine theta. And you can see here that I have a nice limason for us. In this video, we're going to learn about cardioids. And a cardioid is a special kind of limason, kind of like a square is a special kind of rectangle. So let's review a little bit about limasons, and then we'll see what's special about cardioids. As I said, a limason is of a, a uh, polar graph of the form r equals a plus b, in this case, cosine theta. And we talked about two specific types. What if a is less than b, and what if a is greater than b? So if a is less than b, you can see that um, at zero degrees, um, cosine the zero is one, times four is four, plus three is seven. At zero degrees, we're at seven. Now, um, as you go through the first quadrant, theta gets, or um, cosine theta gets smaller and smaller. It goes from one to zero. So at 90 degrees, r equals three plus four times zero, or three. So here at 90 degrees, we are at one, two, three. But somewhere in the second quadrant, let's see, um, where is this going to equal zero? Well, that's going to equal zero at, um, let's see, cosine theta is negative three fourths. So we'll take the arc cosine of negative three fourths, and we get um, 138.6 degrees. At 138.6 degrees, r here is equal to zero. And that's where we're at this point. Now, from 138.6 degrees till some angle in the second quadrant with the same reference angle, r is going to be negative. So what's happening here is we get this little inside loop because all of this bottom part of this inside loop here are the um, theta values from 138.6 to 180 degrees. And at 180 degrees, you get four times negative one is negative four, plus three is negative one. So at 180 degrees, which would be this direction, oh, but we got a negative r, have to go back this way. So from zero to 180 degrees, we're following the limason all the way to this point. And then from 180 to 360, we're following it back this way. So that's what happens when a is less than b you get this hole in here. If A is greater than B, <coughs> you get a dimple because three cosine theta will never be equal to negative four. In fact, the most it can be, or the least, I guess, it can ever equal is negative three. So four plus negative three is one. So at 180 degrees, R is still one. So four plus three is seven. So at zero, we're out here at seven but it never reaches zero over, I mean, zero degrees, it reaches seven. R never reaches zero, so you get this dimple here. Now, that's a lot of review on limasons. What happens with a cardioid where A and B are the same? <clears throat> what do you think will, the graph will look like if A and B are the same? Well, at uh, theta equals zero, you have four plus four is eight, so you're out here. At 90 degrees, cosine theta is zero, so you just have r equals four. And at 180 degrees, this is four plus negative four, which is zero. So you get this um, divot here where r is zero. And you can see by turning it sideways why we call this a cardioid. It's got kind of that heart-shaped graph. So that's what a uh, cardioid is. It's a limason where A and B are the same. Remember, if A is less than B, you got this little hole. Well, we don't have that in the cardioid. If A is greater than B, you got this dimple, and it, and it never goes back and touches the pole. Mm -hmm. Don't have that in a cardioid. In a cardioid, your dimple touches the pole here. 
And if you wanted to change these to sine, <coughs> you can see that it just rotates that curve. It was over here along the X axis. Now it's up here along the Y axis. We can turn this one to a sine. And how do you know how these are oriented? Well, just follow the angle measures through the quadrants. Um, and here we're going from zero to 90 degrees. We'll go through the first quadrant. Sine of zero is zero, so R is four. So here's four comma zero degrees. And as theta goes from zero to 90, theta gets bigger, sine theta gets bigger until at 90 degrees, sine theta is one, so R equals seven. At 180 degrees, sine is zero again. At 270 degrees, sine is negative one, so four plus negative three is one. So at 270 degrees, there's your minimum R value of one. Then our cardioid here for sine looks like that. So the thing to remember is just that a cardioid is a special type of lemason that has A and B equal to each other. And if you get those, you should be good to go on um, freehand graphing of these curves. That was a short video. Hope you enjoyed it. Have a great day.